welcome to St Ives Lakes. Um, purpose of this 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 video um, is to kind of dispel myths and rumours about the place, which I know there's a few. Um, what we're going to do is give you a bit of a walk around the fishery, showing you each of the lakes, um, and describing what's in them basically give you an idea of what's here on offer at this superb fishery this is the sailing lake otherwise known as meadow lake it itself is about 60 acres in size but it's also connected to to two other lakes um, because of bank erosion it's connected to two separate lakes over there um, little fjords and big fjords um, we'll go and have a look at them in a little while but We've got 60 acres here, originals to 44 pounds or bigger, depending on the time of year. The, um, there's myths and rumours, as per usual, definite myths and rumours. I've seen them, other people have seen them. I'm sure other people have caught them in the past but kept them quiet. It's not fished that extensively. Uh, little fjords and big fjords is fished more, but I think the size of the water kind of puts people off. But um, like I said, there's big originals. Um, there's one or two big fish that haven't been caught. Um, over the past five years, six years, I've also been stocking uh, fish into here, which are now, this season, all, all coming out more or less over 20 pounds. Uh, biggest this season is 23.10, biggest last season was 25. There's uh, the original stocking that I put in about seven years ago. They've been seen, they've been seen by good anglers, uh, fish to upper 20s and, and early 30s as well. A um, lot more fish in here than there used to be. One guy this year has already had 15 fish um, out of meadow just by keeping his eye on the water, following the shoal about. Um, it looks daunting, but you know, it's easy enough if you're clever. If you fancy a challenge, this is the one. Well, here we are on Little Fjords, which is connected to the sailing lake, which we were just on. Um, obviously, fish can move in and out. This time of year, they tend to come in, in, in here to spawn. There's a large reed bed off to my left. Um, a lot of the originals get seen in here in the spring. You know, the brown fish and blackjack. Um, there's probably 20 or so others that are always hanging back off the main shoal. Um, yet again, lots of islands, dot islands, finger bays. Um, as with meadow, it's a sort of lake that lends itself well to the mobile angler. If you see fish and you can move on them, then you know you've got a very good chance of catching them. If you don't move on them, you, you haven't got a chance of catching them. But um, it's an extension to meadow. It's where they spawn this time of year. Um, lots of interesting habitat. Um, come and have a go. Uh, connected to meadow um, and in turn connected to little fjords is big fjords. Um, Dave Lane, I know he said Dave Little. Dave Lane wrote about the fjords uh, in one of his books, um, catching a fish called the brown fish. Well, no, he didn't catch the brown fish, but um, blackjack was the one he caught. He named it blackjack. Um, good head of fish. Obviously, they can move in out of um, they can move in from meadow. They can move in, in and out of little fjords, so you've basically got 100 acres of water where they, where they can move in and out of. Um, you've got islands, spits, points, bays. Um, obviously the stockies are all, all doing well, same as they are in meadow, obviously the same fish. Um, there's been plenty of 30 seen, but not caught. I mean, the first fish I stocked was probably, uh, or we stocked was seven, eight years ago. Um, none of them seem to have been caught since. Uh, the fish that are getting caught are probably about five years old and they're all in the 21 to 25 range. Uh, the brown fish have been out once this season so far, 44, 14, which is quite a good weight, although the biggest it's been is 46. Um, it's, it's a gorgeous water, it's a challenge. You know, you've, you've, you've got a lot of walking to do, um, paddling through wet stuff and all the rest of it. Um, but fantastic lakes, 
good head of fish, some big fish, and yet again some big mysteries as well that get seen and not caught very often. Well here we are on Longreach, 40 acres, um, biggest fish out last year was 41.5, that's a common known as the friendly common, normally comes out once or twice a year. It's got a real mishmash of fish, you've got fish from 10 pound up to 40 pound, some have flooded in from the river, some have been moved from elsewhere, um, there's the usual amount of fish that get caught each year. Um, mainly 20s, upper 20s and 30s. There's a fair head of commons in here. There's, there's at least five over 30. Um, it's, it's, it's a great margin water. All the margins are real deep. Um, I mean, I'm where I'm standing here at the moment as well. There's, there's a bar runs out from, from here. This end of the lake, you've got eight bars running down the lake away from me. And then from the middle island, um, the bars start running across the lake. Uh, it's a real intricate water, um, fantastic head of fish, fantastic carp. Another one of St Ives Great Lakes. Well, here we are on Shallow Pit, which is the main, the kind of main syndicate now. We started stocking it uh, about 10 years ago. Uh, previous to then, it didn't have many carp in. Um, it was known as a bit of a tench and bream water. Still producing tench, tench to 11.5 last year. Um, but the carp that we, we stocked in here had done really well. This year, the, the biggest fish, Colin, came out at 50 pound four. Um, it came out three weeks previous at 48. There's um, a fish called Big Head, came out over 45 fish called Laney's, which came out after spawning at 38. But there's there's three four, basically three 40s, 15 to 20 30s at the right time of year, um, and everything else <coughs> uh, tends to be over 25, but we have been sneaking a few double figure fish in from Tricor. We've put about five in over the past couple of years. <coughs> oh, excuse me, just to, to keep it topped up and just to keep fish coming through. Um, hell of a water, probably, I mean if you're a decent angler you can expect to catch 10-15 fish in a year um, and you know now obviously especially next year chance of a 50. Here we've got uh, Tricor, Tricor number one. Um, it was formed when they built a causeway behind us separating um, or cutting right across the middle of the lake. So there's now Tricor 1, Tricor 2. They built a causeway to run a conveyor belt over to dig the lakes over the back, the Scout and Cub Lake. Um, it's been vastly neglected over the years, over the re well, past 15 years. Um, when we first brought the shallow pit fish onto the site, we moved them into here. And they grew so rapidly, we started rod and lining them out and putting them into shallow pit. And there's one or two left in here. The uh, biggest mirror is about 35. Um, as you can see, it's only a small lake. It's only um, two acres at the most. Um, I've also stocked it with a JS Fisheries fish and um, VS Fisheries fish. And they're all sort of coming out between 15 and 20 pounds yet again. We are moving the occasional small linear uh, and, and, and mirrors from here into shallow pit. One, one or two a year just to keep the shallow pit fish coming through. Um, but uh, there's only three swims on here. It's a good flow to water. They, they respond, well to, respond well to floaters. Um, not many people fish it yet again. But there's, there's at least 75 fish in here, 75 stock fish. Then there's, um, there's a common come out twice this year at 29. And then there's the, the big elusive mirror, which um, it's probably only been out three times in the past five years, I'd imagine. But it's in here, it gets seen. One or two anglers stalking, having a go. Um, good head of tench as well. Um, biggest I know of is just over nine. Double figure bream. No one about, you know, good water, good fish, um, big fish, another, another St Ives Lake.
This lake's Anderson's. Um, it's on the same side of the, of, the, of the complex as the Lagoon and Lowry's and Ivo. Um, only about four acres in size. A lot of it is shallow. This side, uh, most of it is kind of eight to ten feet deep. I stocked it with carp, or I've been stocking it with carp over the last five years, the biggest of which is about 16, 17 pound now. They're all, all double figures, uh, very, very um, dark fish, very nice. It's also got originals, like the Ivo has originals. Um, the only time it was really publicised was when Terry Hearn was fishing on the lagoon and he used to come over here when it was quiet over there and he was baiting up. Uh, and he, he, he caught quite a few decent carp. Biggest one was a fish called, well, he called it oink. It used to be known as Mickey's fish before that. Um, he called it oink, but that was just a shade under 30 pounds. And since then, um, there's not really been many people fishing it. Um, and as far as I know, it's still here. It's either the, the bigger fish are in, either in Anderson's or Ivo. Um, but there's a good head of carp in both and, and as you can see beautiful surroundings, lily beds, deep shallows, they respond well to floaters, uh, there's good tench, there was an 11-2 out a couple of weeks ago, that was genuine, um, so that's Anderson's. This one's Ivo Lake, um, yet again about four acres in size, Lots of tench, bream, double figure bream, tench up to six, seven pound. No, no real monsters, but a good head of tench and bream. Um, as with Andersons, I've stocked it with carp over the last five years. Um, they're, they're doing a similar size to the ones in Anderson, so they're mid doubles, mid doubles, 16, 17. Um, yet again, a stock of originals uh, and the, the, the most regular visitor to, to the bank uh, is a linear, um, I've called the Ivo linear, nice and imaginative and that was last out at £28.10. Uh, that's a proper old leany, uh, leany carp, kind of like a double row linear. Um, deep margins, lily beds, not many people fishing it, worth a go. <laughs> The lake behind me now, this one is Lowry's. Um, it's on the same side of the complex as, as the Ivo and Andersons. Um, hardly gets fished at all. Obviously you can see there's a lot of lilies. Um, Springtime, it's, it's easily fishable. Um, but obviously once, once they all get up it's a bit tricky, but there's one or two swims that um, some of the tench anglers fish. Um, it's not fished by carp anglers, but the, the tench fishing and the bream fishing is great. Um, probably, you know, the, these swims are quite small, you need to rake, a, rake an area, good old fashioned chugging the old rake out. Um, but yet again, it's, it's another lake on the complex that's very underfished. Um, like I say, we don't know what carp are in there, we know carp are in there. Um, but it's, it's a damn good tench fishery. Well, here we are on the lagoon. This is the, uh, probably the most well-known lake at St Ives Lakes. In fact, it's probably, probably the lake that, that people only know about because of the publicity surrounding the big fish that used to live in here called the Fat Lady. Um, obviously, you all know she died four years ago now. Um, there's still uh, remaining big fish population. There's, there's six fish over 30 pounds. Biggest goes over 40. Um, known as the black pig. There's five other decent 30s, original 30s, probably 20 other fish, 20 other original fish which aren't 30 so they're less well known and um, three years ago, April three years ago, we stopped um, 100 fish between, well they were averaging four pound. Um, this year they've been coming out an average of about 15 to 18 pounds. There's more people fishing here at the moment than there, there ever has been um, this past couple of years because obviously the fish are getting bigger, people are still interested in coming down to fish for the odd stocky. Um, but they're doing really well. Um, still waiting for the first 20 pound stocky to come out but the, this year there's been fish to 39.12. There's a common came out called the Big Common original. 
that came out at 39.12, that's definitely a 40 for the future. Gorgeous fish. Um, there's been one or two other 30s as well, but there's been a lot of the stock it's caught between 15 and 18. Um, it's definitely up and coming again. Um, lots of swims, it's about 30 acres, but there's about 20 swims on it. Some very nice grassy swims, easy access. Um, so hopefully, you know, we can, we can uh, bring it back to where it was you know when that when the lady was alive obviously I don't expect there to be another 50 in here in, a, in any great hurry but it's going to be a good fishery there's going to be a good head of 30s in here in about five years uh, they're all coming on well so fingers crossed for the future